I want to talk about Medicare Advantage. Uh, according to 2012 data, there were about 145,000 seniors in my district. About 40% of them are on Medicare Advantage, a little higher than the national average. They love their plans and they want to keep their plans. They love their benefits and their choices. Unfortunately, this administration may not love Medicare Advantage as much as my seniors. Uh, this, uh, the actuarial firm of Oliver Wyman did an analysis of the proposed 2016 Medicare Advantage rate notice. Uh, reading the report, I'm troubled to learn that it estimates that the combined impact of cuts from 2014 to 2016 will cost seniors on an average of $60 to $160 a month or as much as $1,920 a year. Uh, many of the seniors in my district live on a modest income, fixed income. Uh, why is the administration forcing many seniors to pay more than $100 a month to keep the plan they like? So uh, with regard to the uh, issue of Medicare Advantage, first I want to say we think the program is a good program. Um, during the period when changes have been enacted, we've seen the program expand by, I think, well over 40 percent. We've seen the number of Medicare Advantage plans that have uh, the top two ratings go from 70, 17 percent to 67 percent. And we have seen that premiums have not been increasing in terms of the changes that we've done to date. Why we are proposing these changes is they have been recommended by MedPAC and others with regard to overcoding that's occurring. And as part of our efforts to make sure we're using the taxpayer dollar wisely, we want to promote the program, we want to keep the program healthy, but we also believe that there are opportunities for those who may be um, not using the system as well as they might. And that's what our changes are about, and that's what we're trying to do preserve and build the system, but make sure we do it in the fiscally responsible way. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Many seniors who like the Medicare Advantage program they have are going to lose it uh, in the following years. According, in fact, a recent Milliman report details a nearly four-fold increase in the number of U.S. counties that no longer have Medicare Advantage as an option, growing from 55 counties in 2012 to 211 counties in 2015. Isn't it concerning to you that seniors are losing the ability to choose a Medicare plan that provides high quality and coordinated care? This is a very successful program, and, and again, this is extremely important to, to my constituents. I agree that it is a very important program, and we want to make sure that it continues. We want to see the studies and the underpinning of that. The most recent numbers that I have seen are that 99 percent of beneficiaries have access. And so those numbers may not align with the, that most recent study and want to understand what the difference in that is. Thank you, uh, Madam Secretary. Uh, one more question. Uh, the impact of seniors with Medicare Advantage, according to Oliver Wyman, could result in seniors losing access to their current coverage or facing higher premiums, reduced benefits, and changing, uh, again, changes to the network uh, as a result of the cuts, the proposed cuts. When I talk with seniors in my district about Medicare Advantage, again, they believe Medicare Advantage, the model offers high quality coordinated care, yet further cuts will disrupt the benefits upon uh, which millions of seniors rely. And your agency likes to tout uh, the so-called affordable premiums and better consumer choices under the Affordable Care Act, but when it comes to Medicare Advantage, why is the administration pursuing policies that would increase premiums and reduce choices for seniors, and again, it's very concerning. I think the, the responses with regard to the issue that what we have seen with the changes we've done to date have not had the premium pressure that's described. We want to continue to watch and monitor, uh, and also that we have seen more people enter in and the quality improve. And so that's what we've seen to date. Uh, we want to continue to work and monitor. We want the program to succeed. We want to support it, and we want to try and do it in the way that's the most fiscally responsible. Well, thank, thank you, uh, Madam Secretary. I appreciate it. I'll yield back, Mr. Chairman. Sure.